Okay, welcome. Um, I'm in my zero period class, so I might get interrupted a few times here. Uh, essentially, you've already chosen three logos. Um, now you're going to choose the most animatable. Um, and I use the Nike example because it's a pretty simple one, and everybody knows Nike, and it's just a super famous logo. So one thing that's going to help you is your Google search terms. If you just type in Nike, um, you're going to get a lot of pictures of shoes. So you probably want to type in Nike logo. And we'll go to images. And from here, this looks pretty good, but what's going to be even more helpful, because what we're doing is isolating the logo. Uh, we basically want the swoosh and this little Nike symbol, the uh, logo type um, to be isolated separately, maybe even the letters individually. Who knows how your animation is going to be. Um, so one thing that's really going to help you is if you also add to the search transparent. Um, and you can see I have the swoosh. And I don't really see, oh, I do see one of Nike. Uh, you also want to make sure that the things you're animating are like pretty high res, especially if you're going to do a scale animation. Um, so you can see here, uh, when I hover over some of these items, they are like 900 pixels wide. You really want the ones that are 1,000 pixels wide or 5,000 pixels wide. This is great. Um, so yeah, that's looking pretty good. And uh, I'm just going to download one of these, so the big one. And when you see this checkered background, you're stoked. I'm going to right-click on this, choose Open Image in New Tab, because I want to really make sure I'm getting the high-res version. Uh, I don't know. Let's save this. It's all gray. You can't really see it. Um, but I think that's probably a good thing. I'm going to save that. And then another thing that I'm looking for is... Uh, the text itself. So you might want to say Nike text logo, right? And one way to find something higher res is to, uh, well, let's do Nike type. You can see how this one's like separate from it. Uh, we might have to go in here and like cut it out. Uh, and especially if you're choosing something like Adidas where uh, you see like the graphics are kind of connected to it. Um, Nike type mark. No. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you, thank you. Um, let's see. Text logo. Here we go. Um, so feel free to skip through this video, especially if I'm just rambling like this. Um, see, I'm not finding a really like high res version of that, so I'm actually gonna have to cut that part out. Um, and I don't think that's gonna be a big deal but I do need to find like a higher res version here like this. And it's transparent, that's good. So I'm gonna download this file now. Open image in new tab. And here we go, yeah, so this is looking like, let's make sure my other one opens up okay. Yeah, the swoosh is good. And then um, Go to downloads. It's easier to go back to Chrome. Uh, let's save this image. Save. The file size is going to be pretty small. Um, OK, so in this case, we just need to cut this Nike out, which should be pretty easy. Um, what I'm going to do is use the lasso tool. And that's this third tool here. And I really just need to cut like a straight line into this. Um, and Nike, the Nike logo is so simple that you could even like trace this in After Effects. So because we all have different logos, it's going to be kind of different things. But um, yeah, I'm going to just select this, 
by dragging a straight line, especially when you get right here. You can hold down shift to make it really go straight. Click. So I'm just kind of following the lines of that E, holding on the space bar. Um, extra credit if you animate something with the little uh, all rights reserved logo here. But now when I hover over the beginning of my, my selection with the polygon lasso, I'm gonna zoom out, command minus. So now I have Nike like selected. Uh, really what needs to happen is I'm gonna delete everything else. Um, let's see, select the inverse. And I think I just hit the delete key and everything else goes away. From here I can crop my image. So really we're just gonna be saving this as a transparent PNG file and loading both of these up in After Effects. Uh, hit return. So there's my Nike type mark and I have my Nike swoosh. From here I'll save them. File, save as. Make sure PNG is your format. Um, Nike type. Okay. And then I'm gonna go over my swoosh. I'm gonna save this as Nike swoosh. I hit save. Okay, so now I have two separate files. Um, the goal here is to line them up and kind of how we've been doing everything else, you're gonna line it up in your, um, kind of the middle of your animation. So what I mean by that is let's make a new composition. Um, and man, let's see. I think we're gonna do like, let's, let's design this in HD. And then when you turn it in, you probably shrink it down later. So we'll do HD 30 frames a second. 29.97, close enough. Uh, background, I'm just gonna do like a white color. Click okay. Uh, we're gonna make this animation, it's gonna be a little longer for you guys, five seconds. So it should be five, you can just type in five zero zero here. And uh, hit okay. I'm gonna zoom out. So now I just need to drop those two graphics into my little After Effects window. So we're gonna go to the Finder. And um, man, where did I save those? Desktop, I think. We'll go to All My Files. And there's my two PNG files. I'm just gonna hold on the Shift key, select both of them. And then drag them into my little uh, project window here. Now it's a matter of, I'll drag out the swoosh first. Oh, that's not even the right file. Here's Nike. And then, uh, it's actually good that I have the whole logo though, I will say. Where's my swoosh? There it is. Okay. So actually what, what I'm gonna do is drag the whole logo itself here and use this as a guide. And I hate to say it, but that's pretty, star pretty smart of me. Remember to hold down the shift key while you expand this so that it does not, you know, if your animation ends up looking like this, I know something was wrong. Hold down shift, keep it nice and square. Um, now I'm gonna like lock this layer and then drag out just the swoosh which is gonna be really large, but we have a size reference here. Um, a note about the shift key. If you, you have to actually drag on the corner first, then hold down shift. It's kind of cool. Command plus to zoom in. Uh, that is close enough. Whoops, I hit return, right? So it opened up just that layer. We need to go back to my composition. And now I'll drag out the uh, type mark here and shrink this down. So drag in a corner, then hold down shift. Like so. 
close enough. Um, I'm even going to unlock this bottom layer and hide it. I could even delete it. And now I have something that is ready to animate. So you could send me a screenshot of this. This is pretty good. I would even save this file, save as, or save. I'm going to call this logo screencast. Now you could call it whatever you want. Should have the word logo in it, I think. Click save. Um, awesome. So you can imagine what we're going to do here. We're going to add colors, maybe add a mask, but really just need to get the elements isolated on different layers, set up, ready to go. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video, and um, I'll see you in class.